Hey Pisces, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for May 24th through May 30th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For May 24th through May 30th, 2020. This is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, all right. Let's pick one. For Pisces, there we go. We got power of the divine masculine. Look you there. So let's read here. An empowering energy seeks expression from within. It wishes to free you from confusion, paralysis, and stagnancy. It seeks to stir you into consciously chosen action, greater discipline, and focus. It's time to end the frustration of repeating old patterns. You are ready to break through into a new life. Feel inspired, be immersed. I'm sorry. Feel inspired, be energized, and focus on your dreams and desires. Take steps to manifest them on the physical plane. Believe your success in is inevitable. So a lot of you guys, this is about really finding your own power within yourself. All right. Let's see what messages we have. This is for uh, me one second, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I messed up shuffling last time, so I have to fix my cards. Let's see what messages we have. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May 24th through May 30th, ooh, 2020. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for May 24th through May 30th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Okay. This is for May 24th, May 25th, May 26th, May 27th, May 28th, May 29th, and May 30th of 2020. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Message is guidance for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Star energy under there, so you're definitely in a space of either gaining what it is that you desire, or some of you guys are holding on. You could be holding on to a dream here. Hmm. So let's see. Sunday we have the magician here, so I feel like you're in a space of manifesting some new things in, manifesting even some resources. King of Swords here could be communicating something, manifesting through communication, because the the magician is ruled by V. I mean, by Mercury, which is the planet of communication. The King of Swords is the master of communication. So some of you guys could either be manipulative within your communication, or you could be in a space of making some decisions, speaking things into existence, and really being firm within those manifestations stations two of cups here um this could have to do with the relationship or about a decision a balanced decision that needs to be made um a heartfelt decision some of you guys may need to balance out your heart space before you make some decisions eight of pentacles here this could have to do with work this could have to do with an investment you could be working on something trying to rebuild something or build something because that's what this eight represents um thursday we have the Ten of Cups here, this could have to do with family situations. This could have to do with, uh, one second. This could have to do with family situations or this could have to do with your happiness. Some of you guys could be trying to build something um, that's going to create happiness within your life. The Seven of Cups, either you're dealing with a lot of things that you're needing to make some decisions about or again, you're in the midst of a daydream. Some of you guys could be holding on to a dream. All right, so working on building something that may not be real. We got Chariot here. Could be dealing with the Cancerian energy. Could also be dealing with the Virgo or Gemini here. But I feel like this is about really finding your motivation to move away from things that are confusing, that are not within reality. So we have the Magician here. Why is this Magician here? Okay, we have... The Knight of Swords here with the King of Cups. So this is about you manifesting either some messages or movement forward. Full energy here. Someone's going to take a leap of faith. Um, sun energy here. I feel like there's going to be some clear communication here. Um, 
especially with that magician I feel like someone is gonna there's some manifestation by communication meaning someone is gonna speak what they desire or say something in order to obtain some sort of resource in order to move toward what someone someone's heart desires is what it looks like King of Cups talks about um, emotions mastering emotions understanding them um, and using them in high vibration no doubt but King of Swords right after it tells me that there may also be a detachment to the to those emotions. Four of Pentacles holding back um, Seven of Cups because there's some confusion. So someone needs to find the strength to really speak truth. Page of Wands to show their true codes, to show what their true intentions are. There's a there's like a, a reserve in regards to speaking truths because someone is either dealing with a lot of confusion within within themselves and unable to discern what is true and what is not or someone's just confused on how to relay what they feel about their emotions or about someone's looking at a situation from a logical perspective and not an emotional so they could be even holding back emotions we got the two of cups here why is this two of cups here we got two of pentacles here with the nine of swords. So someone is having some anxieties. That's why someone is back and forth. This is about a partnership. Someone's thinking about putting some things in motion. But someone is in a space of really going back and forth. Ace of wands underneath here. Ace of cups. So someone wants an opportunity here for something new. But there are some reserves. Because again, nine of swords here with the two of pentacles. Someone has some anxiety here. About really putting things in motion. Someone is trying to think this through fully before a decision is made. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? We got the Moon card here. So you're working on facing your fears. Tower, releasing your fears so that you can get what it is that you want. And I feel like this is about your wish fulfillment. So what is it do you actually want? I feel like once you identify what you actually want and you make the decisions, Ace, yeah, Ace of Swords, and once you identify what it is that you want to be working toward a building or even desiring within your life, I feel like you'll be able to get on the right path. But I feel like there's some confusion about what really makes you happy. Why is this Ten of Cups here? We got, yeah, there's a lot of worry here. There's a lot of, see, Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords with the World card here. I feel like... There's been a lot of disappointment or triggers, either dealing with families or dealing with having some sort of stability around emotions. I feel like in order for you to really move forward in a positive way um, without the confusion and be able to win in whatever this is, you need to overcome the triggers that you have associated with emotional stability. Um, this could be triggers around your family. This could be triggers dealing with love. Um, but... I do feel like there has been some betrayals in regards to foundations, maybe even some betrayals that ended in some unstableness. For a lot, of, for a lot of you, you may need to again. This is like recovering those past issues and and overcoming them, um, so that you are not triggered by them moving forward. So we have the Seven of Cups here. Page of Swords. So the delay is you're dealing with a lot of memories. I feel like this is memories here. This could be memories dealing with Mother with Queen of Cups here. This could be de memories dealing with you not being loving or not being nurtured, not being loved. Um, with the Knight of Wands here, I feel like you could have acted off of impulse more than acting off of your true emotions or your true intellect in regards to what you are or have been feeling. So it's created the delay. So in order to overcome that delay, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be truthful with yourself. What exactly do you want? Once you figure that out, you'll be able to move forward in victory toward that. Why is this chariot here? We got the Four of Cups here. With the chariot here and the four of wands. So someone is unhappy here with some responsibilities either to a household. Unhappy to about some responsibilities in regards to plans that have been, been made. Um, I feel like there's this is like a day-to-day -day lying type of thing. So someone is consistently not. This is someone that isn't content. Someone that is in a space of feeling kind of 
broken down um and this is past energy so it, it may not be right now but whatever it is you have to in order to win or in order to overcome the trigger you gotta face it um you gotta face it you gotta dissect it understand why it is a trigger to you and then you have to you know be in alignment with detaching from that trigger and understanding you know once you understand why you have a trigger then you'll be able to move away from that trigger and not allow it to affect you moving forward but i do feel like someone here has this desire or this vision of what they want but be due to past triggers or due to past issues someone is in a space of not being honest with themselves this is like a constant thing so this can be about jobs or relationship it's almost like you just know what it is that you're keeping yourself from um, and you just need to make the adjustments to no longer do that. Some of you guys are looking at life from a veiled perspective, like in the space of only seeing things a certain way. What message is providing to you that for Pisces? Some rising in Venus. We got lightning. Yeah, some of you guys, I feel like you've been submerged in the cold. And I feel like you're about to come through that. Because again, perspective here. Your perspective is about to change. So there's going to be some um, things that change within your life that are going to activate this, this kind of freeing from being stuck on ice. Some of you guys, I feel like you're just stuck in, in this state. And you're needing to break free from that. This is all I have. Until next time.